Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we uh, get caught up with our basketball coaches after an extremely busy couple weeks, not, uh, five games in nine days and uh, some good results, some not good results. And we'll chat with our women's basketball coach, Colin Lanham first. And, and Colin, you know, we, we knew going into this year there were going to be weeks like this. Well, guess what? We, we, we got the we got the two week stretch of five games in a short amount of time. Talk a little bit about your thoughts, how the team did, uh, some of the things you saw good, some of the things that you, you got to look at going into this week against S and T. Yeah. You know, really it was, it was a tough month for us. Um, you know, coming out of, of a three week break in December and getting started right away with a, a, a now top 25 team, um, you know, on short notice. And, and really, once we got going, we haven't had a chance to breathe since then. Uh, you know, the last three weeks have been tough. We've had two, you know, relatively long road stretches followed by a three game, um, you know, boxing match. It was just, it was a tough, um, you know, it wasn't just 120 minutes. We had tacked an extra 10 on there. So, you know, it was just a, a dog fight every day last week. And, you know, it was nice to be able to give our, our, our team a couple of days to, to recover physically, mentally, you know, as we go into Missouri S and T, but, you know, to be honest, coming out of a weekend, uh, you know, a three game week that we, we go one and two, um, obviously not as happy with the, the win loss record, but, you know, for a team that's as young as we are, we did a lot of things and showed a lot of maturity and our, our game plans able to switch up what we were doing from one night to the next um, you know, we were, I felt like we were competing the entire time. There was never really a letdown in any of those games, regardless of how close, um, or, or far apart the scores were, you know, a, a 15 to 20 point lead Tuesday night, a, a double overtime game on Thursday, and then, you know, a loss to Drury, but, you know, it, it felt like it was a lot closer and I felt like we did some good things against, you know, the number one team in the country. And, you know, I'm really proud of, of the things that we did and the growth that we've made. I think that's what's going to help us um, be prepared for the conference tournament. And, you know, for a team that hasn't had that experience, this was about as close as we could get. You know, it's going to be uh, a dog fight for two games and then you're going to play a top 25 team in the championship. And, you, you know, if you get to be playing that third game in a week, now we know exactly what it's going to feel like to be in that moment from a physical and from a mental standpoint. So, you know, I like the lessons that we've learned over the past couple of weeks. And, and now it's like like we talked about yesterday. We just have to continue to keep taking those steps forward. Um have continuity and carry over from those lessons learned and just continue to build on that. You know, we didn't get a chance to talk last week just because uh, of just the, the, the compact schedule and everything, but Jada Jansen getting named GLVC player of the week, the week before. And th that's no surprise. I mean, she has just really, you know, taken control of this team. You know, she's been that leader, a quiet leader, but just her performance and the way she goes about her work, there, there, that was no surprise that she was player of the week. It's no surprise to the people that know her um, because we've seen it in spurts, you know, since her freshman year, mm -hmm. you know, she's had moments where she's, she's taken over spots of games. She's had big games, but in terms of consistency, you know, I think this is the first time that she's put it back to back and, and really in a few different games, you know, and then she comes in and, and has another big night against UMSL, um, the following Tuesday. So, you know, that was really good for her and, and the maturity that I think more people are starting to, to see just from that consistency. Um, you know, it's funny. I had a, a coach early in the season that, that said something, you know, like I was just really surprised with Jansen. She was such a sleeper. And, you know, I, I kind of told Jada that I was like, Hey, these people don't know who you are. Like, I see you on a daily basis and I know what you're capable of. You're not showing this to everybody else. And that's a challenge to her to step her game up, you know, as, as, as an upperclassman and one of the few, uh, you know, athletes on our team that have, have played over two full seasons, the expectations for her to do those things are a little bit higher. And I think, you know, as that upperclassman, our underclassmen need that leadership and need that guidance and need that stability that we've had the past couple of years and, and, and Mary Barton and, and Stephanie Sherwood and different people like that, you know, it's, it's her turn to take the torch she doesn't have to come out and score 25 a night, but she does have to be that, that, that rock, that foundation that everybody can lean on when the times get tough. 
breather week this week. I mean, just one game, we get the bye on Saturday, uh, which is well deserved after what we've gone through for the last couple of weeks. But S and T uh, played them earlier this year before you know before Christmas. Uh, what have you learned from when we played them the first time to what you know they're up to right now and going down the roller to play on Thursday? Uh, you know, a light week is is probably not the right way to to go at this. The only thing that's light about it is that we compete for 40 minutes as opposed to to the 80. So, you know, that's the one thing is that regardless of what this entire week looks like, we have to go into Thursday ready ready for a battle. Um, every game that we've played against them has been tough over the past few years, um, and so we have to have that motivation going in um, that that regardless of what Missouri S&T's record is, it's not the same team we played the first game of the season. We're not the same team uh, that played that game. So, you know, we have to go into it um, just ready to go to war from, from the jump. So um, it, it's going to be a fun game. Um, just kind of going back and finally getting some time to be able to watch Missouri S&T play a little bit and see kind of how they, de how they developed, how they're, their players' personalities have meshed with their new coach and, and kind of the growth, which I knew would, would come. You know, I think the advantage going into this for us now is we actually know what we're preparing for. The last time we played them, we, we had no clue what we were going to get ourselves into aside from, from who their top players were. And so now we've seen them play. Um, you know, our, our coaching staff has done a fantastic job in preparing a scouting report for our, our players and myself. Uh, and, and now it's just a matter of implementing the game plan and, and continuing to go in and, and do what we do well. And that, that's going to start with coming out with a, a great defensive effort from the jump. Um, the times that we've done that, we've we've held control for 40 minutes. When we haven't had that that defensive surge in the first quarter, it, it's it's been more of a game and we've had to work and earn. Uh, we had to work a little bit harder later in the game once we're a little tired and, and being banged up right now and and it being February, it's just that time of year that every game's a grind. Every game has a, a, an immediate impact on what the rest of the season looks like. No doubt about it. Well, good luck on Thursday. Uh, take care of business down there, and we will talk to you next week, buddy. Sounds great. Thank you. Colin Lanham, our head women's basketball coach, joins us. Once again, they'll head to Rolla on Thursday. They'll take on the Miners. That'll be a 515 start down at Rolla. You'll be able to watch all the action on the GLVC Sports Network, and we'll have you covered on our Twitter feed at Maryville Saints all night long as we follow what our women's basketball team is doing on their one game during this week. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints!